When you come out of the closet, it's not just announcing that you're interested in people of the same sex. You're basically throwing away everything that it is that you've been taught that life is about. Gay marriage has brought gay people a lot closer to having that kind of, uh, of life. But it's still not the same. So, yeah, it's a big deal coming out of the closet. Suicide rates are much higher in the LGB community, even higher in the T community. Of course, then we get people like Paul Joseph Watson talking about suicide and basically goes on a, an identity politics rant. Oh, the poor straight white males, we have it so bad. And yet in other videos, he makes fun of LGBT and says that they're snowflakes and, oh, they're just pushing identity politics and they're so pathetic and they're degenerates and all that sort of thing. But, oh, the poor white males. Yeah, the, the rate of suicide is much higher in the LGB community. And even more with the T. What do you connect with? What role models are there out there for someone to connect with? Usually the only... Gay characters are very stereotypical. And then you're supposed to come to those standards or you're not really, you're not properly, I don't know, representing gay people. You're, you're pushing heteronormativity or something, right? You've got to be totally out and fabulous or you're uh, just uh, mediocre. But some people even try to say, oh, if you're not acting this way, you're promoting damaging stereotypes. They might even say, oh, you're pushing toxic masculinity. There are those who push really strongly in having gay representation, LGBT representation in movies and TV shows and, and other places. And you know what? If you're actually pushing for the percentage of gay characters, as you find in real life, which is about 5% of the population, then that's fine, that's cool. But when you're trying to push far more of representation than that, you know, it's, it's not cool. Uh, GLAAD, G-L, is it G-L-A-A-D? I, I forget what it stands for as well. Good job. It's the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation. They're hounding media companies and Hollywood to get, you know, one out of every five characters in movies and such to be LGBT. That's not realistic representation. You know, how about having gay characters that you may not even know were gay until you see their relationship? I mean, we can be more than our sexuality, but we're obviously not going to have a nuclear family. We might have a different type of family, and I don't see anything wrong with showing people that there are other types of families. Something I wish wasn't so strong in human nature is the desire to feel normal. If people weren't so worried about whether they're considered normal or not, there wouldn't be people using heteronormativity as an insult. I mean, really, most things are not going to be geared towards the LGBT. But even in this day and age, coming out of the closet is still kind of hard for people. And again, LGB people have a higher, much higher suicide rate than their straight counterparts. Just because we have a Pride Month doesn't change any of that. Just because we have a pride festival, yeah, that doesn't change any of that. Guess I don't know what more to say.